task 3 we are going to create a blob container and upload a blob into it open the storage account click on the storage that we have created so under data storage click on containers and create a container enter the name is the 10407 container and public access level leave it private and create the container okay next open the container that we have created and uh, click upload so select the license file that we have already downloaded from the github click open and next click the advanced and uh, authentication type account key blob type block blob and the block size 4 mb access tier i'm going to change it to hot upload to folder licenses so this will create a folder and then upload the file into that folder and click upload okay upload completed okay so it has created a folder called licenses and inside we see that the file has been uploaded click the license file so here we have the option to download the blog and uh, we can delete the file we can also change the tier for each blob that we do upload so currently it is set to hard access tier and there is a version option snapshot we can also create a snapshot and we can also edit the file directly within the azure portal itself and we can generate size token okay in next task we'll see how to manage authentication and authorization for azure storage how we are going to configure authentication and authorization for azure storage so click on the license file so under overview you see the url just copy to clipboard and open the new in private browser and paste the url and now we see the error message resource not found this is expected since we have created this with the private access level so that is the reason we are not able to access this file just close this window now click on generate sas and uh, signing key leave it key one permission read permission start date let's change it to 9 and leave the time as a current and expiry set it to 11th leave the same time as here and leave the allowed IP address blank and click on generate SAS token and URL
copy this blob as URL. Open a new tab in the private browser. Okay, now we are able to download the license file and we can edit also using Notepad. Just close this. Just save this blob as URL. We will need it later in this lab. Just close this. Next, uh, let's go back to the container blade that we have created. And next to the authentication method, click on switch to Azure AD user account. So we can see an error when we change you know, the authentication method. You do not have permission to list the data using your user account with Azure AD. So this is expected at this point. We do not have access to change this. Click on IAM access control under role assignment. Click add, add role assignment, role, select the role, storage blob data owner, storage blob data owner, and assign access to user group or service principal, and select the username okay, and click save okay so this has been done now go to the overview and now let's try to switch to Azure AD account. Okay, this might take about a few minutes. Okay, now let's try to click switch to Azure AD user account. Okay, so now we can see that it has changed to Azure AD user account since we applied the rule. Okay, next in the next task, we'll see how to create and configure Azure file share.